Hey, I'm here to talk about a job that you know most of us never look forward to, and then what it is is real maintenance. And we're kind of going to go through the maintenance that you want to do on a reel. Um, you know, maybe every couple months, just a, you know, a quick uh, you know upkeep on it, and then we're going to slide into a little bit deeper maintenance. Where we're actually going to take things apart. You know, we all get a reel, and it's nice and shiny, clean right out of the box. And uh, it's very important to keep that clean because especially with spinning reels, it's very easy for dust and debris to get inside. And anytime you get dust and bearings and obviously these drag plates on the spinning reel, it wreaks havoc really fast and can wear out a reel uh, very sudden. Um, you know, simply, we deal with a lot of gravel roads getting into places. And you start to get your reels with a heavy dust on them, it doesn't take long before you hear your drag go out and it's making all kinds of little bit different squealing noises it wasn't making before. Uh, so the first thing I like to do just for a, a nice easy clean, now this is something you want to do um, you know, every couple months, maybe a half a season or so, just soak down a reel uh, with just, just water. Um, is just saturate that. If you're going to use a you know a gentle spray, a lot of times you want to tighten down the drag really tight to seal everything up so you don't have that water intrusion. But what I simply want to do is just wipe down uh, the you know the excess dust and even some a lot of times it's that residue uh, from a little bit of oil that's sweeped out of there because what that oil is going to do is also allow that dust to cling to it very easily. And I'm going to simply just wipe everything down. You know I'm not going to get too deep into things. Um, but just simple, a once over cleaning. A lot of these cleaning kits, there's a lot of different ones on the market, but they have these little brushes. Maybe it's a toothbrush that you use, but you can really get into a lot of those places and get that dust pulled out where you can actually get to it with a rag. And now, now that is just the once over thing. Now maybe every year or two years, depending on how much you're using uh, the particular reel, you want to do a deep clean and a lubrication. And what we're going to do on most reels, there's a side plate. And this particular one is just a circle. A lot of times this whole plate comes off here. And that's going to allow us to get into the gears. And that's where the grease is. And the same with a lot of these kits. You want to have a degreaser where you can get in there, spray all out that old grease, uh, and basically clean out that whole area. And now what's important next is depending on the part of the country that you fish the most, if it's up north or you're going to do some ice fishing with a spinning reel, you want to keep in mind the grease you're going to be using and kind of do a little bit of research because what you don't want to have is a grease that's going to be very stiff when it gets cold. And so what's going to happen is where the reel is really hard to crank, you know, maybe if it's sub-zero temperatures. And so keep in mind that the grease you do reapply to this. And now, you know, every reel is a little bit different, so keep in mind, you know, the reel maintenance for the particular reel that you're using and following those instructions. But one thing is also important when you do have everything apart is to keep in mind that as a reel and a spinning reel uh, starts to wear in or, or wear out a little bit, is you're gonna have some unevenness in how the line lays on the spool. But what are often overlooked is this simple little Ziploc bag that have these little washers in them. And what they do, is they change the spacing on where the spool is up and down. What happens when your drag goes out a lot, it eventually wears down those washers a little bit. And so as they wear down, you're gonna have more line piled up on top of your spool. And all you simply need to do is add a washer, more than likely it's just one, but sometimes two, to get it to lay back even again. You know, just one of those simple little things, they come in every reel uh, box for the most part that you can level out your line again. And uh, anyone can do it, but it's just one of these things where keeping it real clean uh, and keeping that dust out of the bearings and obviously the drag area is going to help uh, you know a reel last for sometimes a lifetime uh, versus for maybe five or six years. So just a very easy thing that maybe once a year, once every other year, you do that deep clean and you can really help a reel last for a lifetime.